I would like to invite you all to see what's going on in Egypt. And before to talk about Egypt, I would like really to congr congratulate President Joe Biden, elected president, hoping that his presidency will witness more momentum for the Arab-American relations, which will be contribute to achieve our common aspiration for peace, stability, and prosperity. As it is clear now to all of us, Corona pandemic, it is a dangerous thing now worldwide. And everybody is thinking, all the countries has been thinking for the result after this pandemic. Today, the worldwide are suffering. Today, a huge idea around, and I think a big change will happen. Changing for the international system, changing for reshaping globalization, reforcing all the national priorities, refocusing in the international priorities and paying attention to the security implication of the economic policies. Indeed, I think with all the rules coming out, with all the idea, the world will be changed and will never be again as before the, the pandemic. This problem, I think, is worldwide. And the triangle between America and Europe and also the Middle East has to sit together to draw a new vision and a new idea to see what we can do. This is number one. The second, as you understand that the relationship between Egypt and America, it is stable, it's essential relationship that produced a benefit for both countries. And I think that the history between the relationship in all steps among the history can pro prove a lot of meaning. We really appreciate the role of President Trump concerning the most important issue which Egypt is facing today concerning the water, the life of Egypt. The water, it is something very important for Egypt, which comes from River Nile, comes from Ethiopia, comes from the south. And just to tell you the story in brief, that among the past hundred years, our agreement with the Ethiopian uh, government is to take 55 cubic meter, million cubic meter water. Indeed, we find recently they make a dam. Yes, we are happy that they are making a dam. We are happy to cooperate with them to make more invest, invest, investment in their countries. But to touch our right, the essential, the, the life of all the Egyptian is an isle. And we cannot permit somebody to touch this right. I think President Trump has been making a wonderful situation, inviting all the people to discuss this issue in the White House. And they declare that they are reaching agreement. And suddenly we find that the Ethiopian government has been with Rome themselves, refusing to sign the agreement. This it was a scandal. This it was a big problem. We don't like to make any confrontation with Ethiopian people. We have a great relationship with them. But this is our right. We'll never permit any power in the world to take our right. This is it's not only right, this is our life. So I believe, and I call in, I'm calling also the new presidency to take care of this situation and to start to gather again this uh, three different countries, Egypt, Sudan, and Ethiopia, and to find a final solution satisfied everybody. I think this is our right, and we are going to help as much as we can the Ethiopian government for their investment and their future.